So I'm here with Jean Campbell again, because <laughs> she's always back in the studio. No, not really. I begged her to come down. Uh, um, I'm here with her, and we're going to look at her makeup to see how different it is to everybody else's. And um, so, what you actually like, and you told me before, yeah. that you like is about your skin. Yeah. So tell me a bit about that. So, I think that for or for my skin at least, before putting on makeup, I find it really important to prep my skin properly, which means like to cleanse it. And then um, I have this toner from this brand called Biologique Recherche. And that's a toner which kind of evens out um, my complexion at least. Um, and it's because all... you've got quite sensitive skin. Yeah, and I, well, you can see right now, I've got yeah, quite she's... red cheeks. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> that, that's quite a part of your charm. Yeah, but then when I put this product on, it sort of makes everything a bit smooth. Like yeah, when I have red cheeks, have, it, it doesn't it make it look like I'm flushed. Right, it just okay. looks more better actually. Yeah. And then um, I, I'm quite prone to darkness under my eyes. No, Jill, like not my you. Soul. <laughs> <laughs> not um, you. <laughs> and so from the same brand, I have some under eye cream, which helps me with my dark circles under my eyes. And so I'll put it on and then I'll sort of tap, tap it. it. And then I don't actually have a face cream that I'm using at the moment. Okay. That's just because I don't have one right now. Yeah, I mean, but you, do you normally use more? Yeah, size? usually I do. Um, but I guess today, well, you know, at the moment I have this face oil. So I do like one little pump of that. And then um, I really like facial massage. I think it's really good. Yeah. And it kind of tightens your skin a little bit and it just makes because it sort of brings the blood to the surface yeah right? that's right it kind of um, um, helps the blood circulate yeah it's and nice and effect. it's sort of like this kind of thing lifting yeah and it's like all along the like bony parts of your face so like along here and like your cheek i mean we, i'll do that before we do makeup and other yeah. makeup artists do that too yeah right? no it's like a good good little trick because yeah because you kind of do things like this to relieve tension mm. Mm. and go around the jawline and then you can always drain the sinuses. Yeah, I mean, the longer you do it, the better. If you do it for like this two minutes, it doesn't really affect yeah. anything. But if you do, sometimes I wake up with a really puffy face and so... Um, that helps. Yeah, if I do it for like <laughs> ten minutes, then it actually then goes... Then actually, more... suddenly she's got the thinnest face in Yeah. <laughs> So what, you know, what I would do is, like, squish the eyebrows, that's a technical term, squidging. <laughs> uh, and then and then I'd pinch the jawline, just as gets the blood circulating. I'd drain the sinuses up into the lymph gland. You need to be slightly strong with it, but I do that before I do makeup. And then yeah. that gets everything moving, and yeah. you, you, like you say, you wake up sometimes. Yeah, so it. sometimes I will wake up with... I get slightly puffy eyes sometimes and so I find massaging really helpful and I'll just press like in here and around my eye socket huh. and if I do it like a few times, it just gets it, um, the blood circulating mm -hmm. and it all clears yeah. and you just look better at me, Yeah, <laughs> love that. But wasn't they? didn't you say to me that there was a place in Paris that you recently went to? Oh yeah, so recently, just before Christmas, I had a job in Paris and um, someone had recommended me this skincare brand because I love having a routine, and I have in the past, but I am just sort of was a little bit in limbo. Right. Um, Looking so, for something new, but yeah. not following the old routine anymore. Yeah, we exactly. I was just Should over do, whatever yeah. I was yeah. using. I can't even remember what it was now. <laughs> so <laughs> over it. Yeah. So I went to this place, and it's called Biologique Recherche. They basically just looked at my skin and told me the stuff that I that would be good for me. And so I literally just have a cleanser, a toner, eye cream, and then I have a night cream as well. Okay. It's slightly thicker, yeah. and it actually because all the products are natural. Yeah. It has yeast in it, so it can make your skin slightly red okay. and like a little bit puffy, so that's why I use it at night time. Okay. But it's really good, and if you're prone to spots, which um, naturally, I'm not really prone to spots, but when I wear makeup every single day, yeah. 
then work, obviously yeah. you get spots. Yeah. And so if I put on that cream and cleanse my face properly, then I don't get any spots. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, when I looked at these products, I I went like this, obviously I always smell, and Jean went, yeah, well, they don't smell very nice. <laughs> and I was like, that's okay, though. Uh, they don't actually smell horrible <laughs> at they all. They just they smell, smell a bit of, sort of natural. Well, they don't really but smell you know what's well funny? now, but nose. I don't really smell of anything, but a lot of the times in products, most brands would like to disguise not so nice smells, so they put perfumes in. The problem is when you put perfume in and you've got sensitive skin, it might react, so it's kind of defeating the object. Yeah. So it's better that they actually don't really smell of anything. And um, also, even, so the night cream is kind of funny because it actually smells has like a hint of Marmite, which I know a lot of people really hate, but that's the um, yeast the component. Yeast, yeah, yeah. But it only smells like when you open the pot and then once you've put it on, it doesn't it smell. Kind of disappears. So yeah. that's a good thing to know. So yeah, you, you heard it here first, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you like this eight hour cream, right? Oh yeah, so um, this is I, like I always keep um, Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream in my handbag. It's meant to be like lip balm basically. But I it's, haven't seen it in this tin before. It's a slightly more, yeah usually it's in a squeezy tube, tube yeah. but um, this fits better in my bag. I like it. Um, Minimal art. And it's sort of quite, it's like a, a real balm, it's not, uh, not for the faint artist. <laughs> it's um, full on. It is generally meant to be a lip balm but um, I don't just use it for that, I use it on my face um, in the cold, it's really good because I'm, my skin dries out quite easily. So it's sort of quite good at protecting your skin yeah. when you're in the freezing cold. Um, so there's no rules in yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and I like that. <laughs> Lip balm on yeah, the yeah, face. Yeah, there's no rules. Um, but then I also really like to use it at night time because generally I like to do... So I just like having... Like if I'm going to do makeup, I might do mascara and good skin and like maybe a bit of eyeshadow or But you said you put that on your like eyes that. sometimes. Yes, and I put this on my eyelids because even if you don't have anything on, that sort of... Um, it's kind of useful. Sort of gives you like a dewy look. Yeah. And you can like even put a tiny bit on your cheekbones yeah. to give you a bit I mean, highlight. this is an all-rounder. Yeah, so got to get one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're going to do... Uh, a little bit of makeup on Jean, and I'm going to give you that beautiful bare skin. You'd like to do an eye, but you're never quite sure how to do it. Yeah. But it's quite a natural eye. Yeah. Well, I mean, generally, so I like to have good skin, and then I think it also looks nice to have some kind of brightening or bronzing, even. Like a sort kiss. of. Yeah, it's to give you like a sun kiss component, I really like that. And then I was telling Wendy earlier that I like having like a bit of shade around my eyes, but I'm really bad at doing eye makeup. So we're going to show how to do that. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do a beautiful skin for Jean. We're going to show her how to do a little bit of a shade on her eye, one that's yeah. achievable for her, <laughs> and an eyebrow because she always say, guide. "Yeah, the idiot guy." <laughs> and she always say that she mucks it up an eyebrow. Did you said you made it? Too yeah, much? because I I really like it when the professionals like Wendy do an eyebrow because I think I think it actually strangely I think it makes you look more sexy. Um, Must remember that. <laughs> when, yeah, but do, I sort of think that because I've got very sort of pale complexion and yeah. stuff. Uh, so, you know, I need, need to get what I can. <laughs> um, we give it to a roll. Yeah, but then often when I try and do it myself, it's very easy to go a bit sort of overboard. And that depends on whether you're using the right shade. Yeah, um, could become and, Cleopatra. Yeah. Coming at you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so it is about the shade. So I'm going to start. You like this, right, Jane? Yeah, I the love fresh it. glow, golden radiance. Uh, it looks very dark, and people think it's well, it's too dark for me. It's too yeah. dark for Jane. Yeah. It's too dark for me. But no. But no. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of pumps, and this is just going to give you a sunkissed look. Just remember, take it over your face and down your neck. Right, so. I'm putting on like a moisturiser. 
I wipe it on like this. I've got to take it down here because otherwise she's going to look weird. You just, you can be quite rough, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> So that just gives a like a feeling of a glow and just like a bit of a sun kiss look. <laughs> so that's really easy. So you could just wear that. I'm going to do a little bit of concealer. This is quite sheer and you need to be careful when you're using a concealer under the eye that it's not too dry because the skin's really fine and it can um, look cakey and we don't want to do that. We just want to see the skin. I'm applying it just under the eyes. Uh, because I want, because uh, it's super light, but it will reflect, and it's not cakey. So look like that, tip off me jean. That's gorge. I'm going to use a slightly lighter one, just in here. Now this is a, a matte one, so I'm just going to do it in this little crease, so that will make it flat. So if you look around now, jean, you see how this is flattened? There, mm. to that one. She's like, mmm. <laughs> I mean, mm, yeah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> These parts. So that's, that's really simple. I'd probably use a little tiny bit of concealer on the cheeks just to tone that yeah, down. Yeah, I always a bit. do that. Yeah. Just to tone that down. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Because all the skin's good, so we don't need to cover it. Yeah, I find concealer much better um, for complexion than foundation. Yeah, I mean, unless you use a really super light one with, you know, mm. like tinted moisturiser or something like that. Yeah, but it's easy to get it wrong, I think. Yeah, big time. You know, for people who aren't professionals. Nose aren't professionals. Mm. I'm applying a matte one because there's a slight blemish. Mm. I know you wouldn't believe that no. for a model, but she has a slight blemish. So what I'm going to do is if I put the matte one on, it doesn't pick up any highlight so we can flatten the blemish. Get rid Aha. of it. You see? Ha <laughs> ha! So that worked really well. Now, um, that's supernatural. And now we're going to do um, an eye, an eye colour. I'm going to use the contour pen from Burberry. It's a form of sculpting. So Jean, I'm going to do one eye and you're going to do the other. She didn't want to do this, but I'm pushing her into it. <laughs> and this is a night that you can't go wrong. So I'm just going to do like this arch. You can take it all over the eye, but can you see that, Jean? Can you mm. do that? Can you do the other eye? You don't, it doesn't need to be perfect because you're going to blend it in anyway, you know what I mean? Like that's that. it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Right, that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then, and then what you do is you just rub it in like that. <laughs> it's super simple. <laughs> so if you blend the other one with your finger, just back and forward. That's it. Mm -hmm. So that just gives you a slight shadow where you would naturally have a shadow, oh my right? God. That's easy. Yeah. And you can go under the eye with this too. Right here, and get a bit more thick. And then you can do the other one. Oh. Aha! That's it. Not too much. And then just do the same thing, blend it in. I even did your one. See? Taking over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use this um, matte palette. It's got, oh, well, it did have a thing in it, but this is so clear. <laughs> so um, th this is a, a like a pinky, taupey colour, and it's a cream. So just pop that on the eye, in the middle of the eye. And Where's this from? Uh, that's Mac. Probably. It's like, just a palette, yeah. It's a cream oh, palette. Wow. Yeah, no, it's nice, oh, no? So gee. do that. You can use any kind of pinky colour. You could even use a lipstick. Sometimes I use a lipstick. Can I put on too much? I put no. On too much. Well, just blend it. Just blend it out. Just keep on doing it. That's it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah, Don't okay. panic. Don't panic. That's it. It's fine. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you can use the pinky things like this too. 
you know, a, a lip colour, lip contour, whatever floats your boat. So you need to probably set that because it will move. So you could use like just a, a translucent always... powder. Or maybe you could use this because you liked this, didn't you? Yeah. The, the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. So you could use a brush like this. Use the lighter colour of the two and just dust it over like that. But really be quite light with it. Do you, just set it for you right, uh, so it doesn't yeah. move. Um, or you could do it with a brown if you wanted it to be more intense. You know? I think it's good. Yeah, so I mean, you know, you might as well use what you've got. And that's what Jean had in her bag, so let's just use it. Okay, Why Jean, not? I think that's, that's enough. <laughs> no, so yeah. that's good. And maybe with a darker one, you could pop that under the eye. Oh, yeah. I'll do this eye. Look out for me, honey. That's just to set that. So do the other side. Just so it won't move, you know? Because cream will move. It's like an oil. It's going to move. And so if you set it with something with powder in, it won't move. It will hold it in place. So let's do the eyebrow. Okay, so we're just going to fill in Jean's eyebrows. So one way you can do it is brush them down. Mm. Yeah, that's a tip. And I like to use this Burberry one because it's quite see-through. And that is what eyebrows actually look like. They're not solid. So this is a natural version of. So I'm just going to follow the way the hair grows. How do you know which way it grows? Um, you can see. Uh, <laughs> you can tell, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know, know but you can mouth. see the way the hair grows. And if, if you can't brush that down, but you can brush this bit down, and then you just follow the line of where it grows. And if you need something a little bit stronger, that's defined, but not really. So do you think you can do the other one? Yeah. No. Go on, try it out, try it out, come on. Okay. Alright, so, so, let's brush it down. So then if you start going one, two, three, four, just remember that the hair, it goes, starts there and then it starts to taper down. Yeah. So do you do that? Because you're just putting in little tiny marks. That's it. And then just maybe get that dip a bit there. That way? Yeah, do you see it? There? No, there. There, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's it. And then if you brush it up mm -hmm. into the right shape, then you just fill it after that. That's it. It's not tattooed. Like that? Yeah. No, that's all right. Yeah, it's all right. You just got one little bit to fill there. Just a little tiny bit, you see? Just go the way the hairs are. They never used. That's it, that's great. That's perfect. Just do that there. Never used one of these um, liquid. Yeah, I know, it's a new formula. I just want to pop that a little bit in there. It's only because I have, the, yeah, I have an eagle. Because that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we've done a beautiful skin for Jean. We've done a bit of an eye mm. like she wanted. So um, now I want to do like a mascara, a smidgen bit of eyeliner, amp it up, and maybe a red lip because she actually looked really great with a red lip. Which I can't do. Which we're going to show you how to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, mascara. Do you want to curl your eyelashes? Because I know yeah. you can do that. Um, that's it, just lean into the mirror and do that. I like to pump it. What do you do? The thing anyway. is, I just do tiny ones because otherwise my eyelashes fall out. Like, no, no, I'll I'm just joking. like lose it. All oh, right, okay. I'll lose a grip on them. <laughs> okay. So, um, mascara. I'll do one, you do one. I mean, I'm sure you know how to do mascara. You're not a numb nut. Yeah. Or are you, Jean? No, not really. No. I like to do on the top as well. Um, especially when you're blonde, get right to that room. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously I've made a bit of a boo-boo, but that's okay because I get a bit of bioderm and I just clean it up. So you do the other one, G. 
I mean, that looks, makes a major difference on you. You know when you're blonde and you've yeah. got a scar on, it really like just picks up the eye, no? Sometimes, when you, Jean, if you look like that, it's better. If you tip your head back, that's it. That's easier. And actually, <laughs> really, really good in a photo. It's funny. It's harder when you're further away from the mirror. Yeah, it's true. Because I always go right up to the mirror. But also, no one actually comes up to you like that and looks at you. Mm. <laughs> they always kind of stand yeah. a bit away. So, you know. And then there's this really skinny eyeliner that I like, um, obviously from Burberry. But really what you do is you run it across the top of the lashes so you don't have to be really good at doing eyeliner. Just run it at the top of the lashes. Do you see what I mean? It just defines the eye, but it actually mm -hmm. doesn't look like an eyeliner at all. Do you want to try that one? Yeah, sure. It just run it literally along the top of the lashes. So you don't actually really hit the skin. It's slight, it's really slight. You see, it's really easy to do that. See? That's it, Jean. I don't think I did the whole thing. Well, go on then. But I didn't actually go right to the, I didn't actually go right to the, um, that's it. Oh, I did. You did it, you did it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then uh, with the red lip, you say you're not good Did I not it. finish it? Does it look the same then? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it does? Yeah. A red lip. I mean, I want to say just do it straight from the bullet because it's, you just need to like... Straight from the bullet as in Yeah, like as that. in this, yeah. So, smile. And this is like the lazy way. You do the other side. Smile. Smile. I mean, I should really do it myself on me, so you can all see, but that will be another video, guys. That's it, Jean. Beautiful. Go like that. Okay. And then what you do is you smile. And then you just even it up. Ah, help me. And do you think you can do the other side? Yeah. This is the bit I always mess up. Yeah, but it's all right, because we can s sort it out afterwards. And it's easier to do it on yourself than it is to do it on someone else from the bullet. It's much easier to do it on yourself from the bullet. Your actual side looks better than mine. Right, so look, Jean. This is just like a bit of makeup remover. But not oily, can't be oily. Mm. And then. So, what I would do, because it's proving a little bit problematic on the bottom, <laughs> <laughs> I would just get a lip pencil <laughs> and just finish it yeah. on. Um, and. <laughs> <laughs> That proved a little bit problematic because uh, from the bullet, it was too big for Jean's lips. And it's obviously better when you do it yourself rather than me doing it with the bullet. But if you have that problem, Jean, if you could stop touching, um, <laughs> uh, we're going to use a lip liner. I'm going to use the MAC one in Cherry. Okay, so this is just like to get that lip line good and get into the corners where it's a little bit slimmer. Ah, ah, ah. No laughing, Jane Campbell. And so that's it. So, you know, if you have any problems, you just clean it up with a Q-tip, with a bit of a non-oily um, makeup remover, and then just go back in with a pencil. It's not a big deal. And then you can just touch up with a lipstick when you're out and about. That's Jean Campbell. This is a going out. Oh, yeah. right, look. <laughs> After this look, Jean, what would you say your favourite products were from everything we've done? 
The um, ones you have and the ones I've introduced you to. Of the ones that I brought, I think the toner is my favourite <laughs> one. Right. And then of Wendy's, I really... Of yours. <laughs> I I really like the Burberry. Um, this the golden radiance. Yeah, I think that's really good. Yeah, you love that. Right? Yeah, I like the combination of them. That one is it? The yeah, face the, contour. The, 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 yeah, the face contour, which is actually round like a eye socket skull. with yeah. um, that color that you used. Oh, this Mac palette, and it's a cream. It was this one, obviously the one that I've used the most. You know. And that's a beautiful colour. So that's super natural. And then you usually use the powder to finish it up. Mm. So that's Jean Campbell, ready to rock and roll tonight. <laughs> so thanks, Jean, for coming in. Now you've got your nighttime look. I know she came because she's my friend. <laughs> but thanks, Jean. Thanks oh, so much. Thank you. Gorgeous, Jean Campbell. Thank, thank you. you so much.